family and friends and fellow YouTubers. It's Kim here from Kim's Country Corner and today I'm at the Hancock Homestead and it is such a beautiful day that I'm going to give you a bonus video. Um, I am going to do a walk around. So be sure and watch uh, the day in my life video and then also look for the walk around video. All right. So let's go on this walk on this beautiful February 2nd day. It is like 50 degrees out here. And after having this polar vortex go through, giving us negative degree temperatures for the last four days, it's nice to have this warm day. So let's go on this walk. I think I'll throw him some scratch outside. Yeah, let's go over here and put him some scratch outside. Because I'm not sure just how many bugs there are. Plus I need a count. All right, Pavel, let's take a walk. Got a little bit of snow to walk through here. But that's okay. It's not ice. Snow, I don't mind. Ice, I do. I don't like ice. And this stuff is just melting right under your feet. Yeah. I hope to get some ducks in here. I would like to have a handful of ducks. Because duck eggs are pretty nice to have as an alternative to chicken eggs. This is nice. Let's just go ahead and walk all the way around this garden. I was telling you guys yesterday in my pantry chat that I want to grow some pickling cucumbers, maybe some green beans, some gourds on my trellises here. Oh, this weather just makes you want to come out and plant <laughs> right in the snow. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I should do that, but oh my goodness, it's nice out here. Oh boy. I probably should put this tool away before John sees it. Didn't I tell you guys I was no good at putting things away? Yep. You'd say, you left my fence post pounder out there to get rusty? I know. I know. That's what he would say, Paulo. Let's take it down to the machine shed. Gosh, that thing's heavy, though. to get these boxes filled with veggies. I gotta take a break. I think it's heavy. Tomatoes, peppers, beets. Oh, I can just see them growing now. There, returned safely to his workbench. All right. All right, Powell, let's go on over to the pond. We haven't been over to the pond for ages. I think it's been October. We call it a pond. It's more like a mud hole. 
used to be a pond, but over the years it started filling in. But it's still nice to have for the birds and the wildlife. They can get them a drink. That's one reason we don't really have water baths. I mean, we do, but I don't worry about putting the water in them. Because we have this mud hole that has water. And then our neighbors up the road has have a really nice pond. I don't know if you guys remember the video. I think it was last week where this was just complete ice. Just a skating rink of ice. And now it's water. Yay! We're supposed to have about three nice days and then we're supposed to get freezing rain again and snow. The snow, I don't mind. The freezing rain, I hate. Alright, I'm going to walk over here. It looks like maybe that other side is a little bit drier where I can get around. nice out here. This used to be the old garden down here. Long time ago. This is where the garden was. What I'm thinking about doing, and I don't know for sure yet, but I'm thinking about just putting a whole bunch of sunflowers in here. Making this like a natural sunflower field for the birds. Lilac bushes. Our ditch. Oh my goodness. I hope that when they were grading they didn't cover up my irises too much. See that pile right there. I mean irises, they like to be near the surface. Just have to see. Of course, when you have, that's what we end up with like 16 inches of snow. You have to get it off the road somehow. I wonder if I can get across here. Follow? Can I get across here? Look at the running water. I walked to the mailbox was. I've been having to drive down. Mostly just to keep from falling. I think the mail service had actually stopped for like two days. So that's probably why there's so much mail. Look at that guys, even as cold as it was, 
This little thing has got buds on it. You all see that? Isn't that something? Ah, Mother Nature. See, my goal this year, and I told you all this yesterday, are to get the trees in here. We used to have three rows of trees. We had two cherry trees and an apple tree in this row. Right there where that birdhouse is at, that was in the middle of our orchard. And as you can see, all those trees are gone now. The cherry trees got diseased. It was called um, brown rot, I think. And the apple tree got hit really hard during a windstorm. And then this apple tree starts another row. And we had two more trees in there between this tree and those two trees. And they're gone. Windstorm. Same windstorm that took out that one up there. And then, if you come on over where this um, trumpet vine is at, and you look up this way, there should be a row of trees here going up to that apple tree. I think there were, I say a row, I think there were two in there. Yeah, two more Macintosh in there. But we had a windstorm come in from the west here, or from the southwest, almost like a tornado. It was not a tornado, it was called a straight wind. Okay, so we had a straight wind come in from the southwest here. I'm standing in the southwest corner of the orchard. And the straight wind just went right through there. And everything that was between that birdhouse and those trees there are gone. It was not a tornado, it was a straight wind. But those straight winds can be as damaging as a tornado. They just don't twist. And then our cherry trees, which were to the west of that birdhouse, uh, later on, they got brown rot, so they had to come down. But this is what I mean. I want to call this the year of the tree because, as you can see, our orchard is down to four trees and then over here on the west side of the house we had two big 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 taller than the house beautiful blue spruces and there's the stump to one and then over here is the stump to the other and I would really like to get them replaced. Except whenever we do, I think we're going to put them a little bit, I think we're going to put the new ones a little bit further west. Down the hill just a little bit more. So yeah. Alright. Now I want to get some more um, shrubs along the road here more bushes and then there's my garden gate and I think this year my garden gate is just going to have annuals because since it's going to be the year of the tree that's where all my money is going to go and annuals are cheaper to buy than perennials so I think to, and the annuals will help to work up the dirt too and get the dirt ready for the perennials. So yeah. Now we're on the south side of the house, which really needs some work done on its landscaping.
It's <laughs> getting there. My rock garden. I cannot see what you guys are seeing. You will see. Let's see. There. Kind of got a little rock garden started there. There are some peonies planted in front of that um, line of boards. So this is going to be my peony section. South side here. And for all of you who might be new to the channel, yes, that is a tombstone, but no one is buried there. That tombstone was down at an old cemetery, and when they were redoing the cemetery, they called and asked us if we would like to have the old tombstone. That is the first Austin Hancock founding father of this farm. It's tombstone. <laughs> All right, and as you can see, we're around the house here and we're back at the front. Wasn't that a nice walk, guys? We can look anyway. I'm happy with the way my evergreens are growing. And I'm really glad I put down straw last fall because we've had one harsh winter. And the winds have been so strong that it knocked over my bird feeder here. So I gotta get it set back up. Yeah. All right, there we go. The end of the walk around for February. Well, this is the first of February, so it's February 2nd, Groundhog's Day.